Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Storytime with Nathini. Today I'm going to read out a book called My Heart Sings by Sibyl Vettasinghe. Let's start the story. Since she could not walk, grandmother was confined to a wheelchair. She sat making lace most of the day. She had two grandchildren, Supun and Sairi. Their mother Nanda was a school teacher. Their father was Prem. A new family came to live in the house next to theirs. In that family was father, mother and one little girl. Supun and Sairi went to school with their mother. So mother maid looked after grandmother when the family was away. Grandmother often heard the little girl next door sing a beautiful song. Doesn't that child go to school, Soma? asked grandmother. I don't think she goes to school, said Soma. She is out in the garden almost the whole day singing. One afternoon, grandmother told her daughter Nanda about the little girl in the next house who is out in the garden all day long singing. Nanda was interested in meeting the little girl and went over to see her. She found the little girl sitting on the bench in the garden. The mother was sweeping in the front yard. Nanda spoke to the mother saying, I am Nanda. I am a school teacher. I live next door. My mother tells me that your daughter sings well. Doesn't she go to school? How can we send her to school? She is born blind, said the girl's mother. Nanda spoke to the little girl on the bench. What is your name, little one? Mihiri, she answered brightly. Mihiri, would you like to come to our school to sing a song? Nanda asked. Mihiri smiled shyly and said, Yes. The children in our school are rehearsing for a term-ending concert, said Nanda to Mihiri's mother. Can I take Mihiri to school with me to get her to sing a song? Yes, answered Mihiri's mother. That might be good for the child. Please do take her along. On the day of the concert, the parents of the children gathered in the school. Mihiri's parents too were there. It was a day, happy day for all. The children sang and danced in their many colorful costumes. At the end of the concert, the principal of the school announced, May I have your attention, please? I have a very special item for you today. We invited a little girl from our neighborhood to sing a song. Everyone, please welcome Mihiri. And everyone clapped. Teacher Nanda helped Mihiri up to the stage and Mihiri sang. My heart sings together with the singing birds. My heart fills with joy when the sinful singing call. I smell the fragrance of the blossoms around me. They are soft, they are tender in my palms. The wind blows softly, rolling by, kissing my face tenderly. Whispering, you are loved, little one, by everyone. You make us happy with your lovely song. I see the world in my very own way. As I touch and I smell everything with feeling, I'm happy as the birds that fly. I feel I fly along with them. When Mihiri ended her song, everyone clapped heartily and said, it is a beautiful song, Mihiri. You sang it so well. Mihiri smiled happily and and that was her own way of thanking them. Who taught you this lovely song? L little girl asked the principal. No one taught me, she answered. I made it up all by myself, listening to the birds' calls and taking in everything around me into my mind. You are a clever little girl, Mihiri, dear said the principal, hugging her close. Will you help? We will help you to come to our school to study with all the other children. We are proud of you, Mihiri. Hearing this, the children called out joyfully. Please do come to our school to study with us. We love you, Mihiri. The end. I hope you like the story. Give it, And if you do, give it a big like. Subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram at Nethi Venu. See you next time. Bye.